Hello friends, welcome to yoga class. Um, I'm really sad that I can't be with you right now, but hopefully we can have some fun with our friend Medi Teddy today. So I have Medi Teddy, he's here on his mat and he is ready for yoga class. So if you have a mat where you are, go ahead and find your mat and sit down on it. If you don't have a mat, that's okay. Just sit down on the floor and make sure that you have enough space to move. So Medi and I, we brought Medi Teddy's book, um, which has all kinds of postures that he and I are going to demonstrate with you today. A few of them Medi Teddy's going to do, and a few of them I will do with you today. And then we also brought our calming jar so we can do a little bit of meditation. So we are going to start out with a little bit of breathing today. So let's go ahead and get relaxed on our mats. And remember that you have to take a big deep breath in through your nose, and then you exhale through your mouth. So let's do that together. Inhale, smell that flower. Exhale, blow out the candles. Inhale. Exhale. All right, awesome. So, like I said, I brought my nice calming jar today. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to you so that you can see my jar. And I am going to just shake, 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 shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. All right. And as you can see, all those swirling, whirling thoughts that are inside this calming jar today. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a moment to help our jar calm down. So the way that we help our jar calm down is we say the magic words. And the magic words are, peace begins with me. So let's say that together. Peace begins with me. Now let's say that a little, a little louder. Peace begins with me. Good work, friends. Look at our calming jar. We use the magic words to help calm that jar right down. So we're gonna set our calming jar to the side. And we're going to go ahead and get our bodies stretched out just a little bit. So go ahead, sit down on your mat, crisscross yoga sauce, and let's stretch up and take a breath and reach forward. And when you reach forward, just give the ground a little pat. Go. Stir up some energy. Now stretch up and let's reach to the side and twist like a pretzel. And then reach up and twist to the other side and just like a pretzel, take a breath. Let's reach up. Let's make that pretzel again. And other side. All right. Now let's go ahead and come on to our knees and drop our bottoms down to our feet. And we're going to do a lion's breath. So let's bring our paws up to our mouth. Look down at your nose. Stick your tongue out. Take a deep breath and make a lion roar. Excellent, friends. All right, so let's go ahead and come all the way up to our knees and then bring our hands down to the floor. Nice straight spine. And let's be a table. Make sure your back is nice and straight. If I put a vase of flowers on top of it, it has to sit there. And let's look up and move like a cow and then down like a cat, meow. Moo, meow. All right, 
right, curl your toes under, lift your bottom up into downward dog, and then just walk your paws forward, and then come all the way up, arms up, 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 up. and then bring those arms back down by your side. All right, let's just shake it out just a little bit, get those wiggles out, wiggle your legs, wiggle your head. Okay, so we're gonna stand nice and tall in mountain posture. So put your feet together, have those palms facing forward, and let's get ready to do the teddy bear dance. Teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear. with Medi Teddy today. So Medi Teddy is on his own mat. You can see him sitting right next to me um, in front of my mat. And he is ready for some yoga. And he's so happy that we have his book here today. This is Medi Teddy Mindful Poses for Little Yogis. It is by Medi Teddy. He wrote this book. And it reads, Hi, I'm Medi Teddy. Now, we begin the practice of yoga. So I'm gonna show you each posture up close there. This is mountain pose. So I'm going to stand up in mountain pose. It's Medi Teddy, he's not really steady on his feet. So when you come into mountain posture, you stand nice and tall. You have your arms by your side, your palms face forward, feet close together and it's almost like a string is pulling the crown of your head up, up, up. Let me take a breath here. And when you exhale and blow it out, make sure you get all the air out. All right, now the next posture that we are going to do is a forward fold, kind of like we did in the teddy bear dance. So let's go back into our mountain okay and then we're going to inhale our arms up and then we're going to exhale and reach for our toes you can tickle your toes down there if you want to i like to tickle my toes sometimes and then slowly come all the way back Let's look at the plank posture. So you have to be really strong for this one. Medi Teddy and I are gonna use all of our muscles and we want you to use your muscles at home too, okay? So Medi Teddy is going to straighten his legs out here and he is going to balance 
by holding his paws on his neck and on his toes and his tummy is nice and tight there. If you can see him, get him in kind of from the side here so that you can see Medi Teddy, there he is. And so Miss Erica is gonna start in table pose. So I have two hands on my mat and both my knees on my mat. And I'm just gonna curl my toes under and just stretch my body long and take a big breath. Maybe another one. Very good, friends. All right. From your plank pose, we can go into upward facing dog. And we do that when we do our teddy bear dance or our sun salutations. So Medi Teddy is already in plank pose. He's going to drop his belly to the ground and then just lift his chest up to the sky. And you can even look up to the sun if you want to. You can say hello. So I'm going to drop my belly and lift my head up to the sky and say, Hello, sun. Hello, clouds. How are you today? And take a big breath. All right. From our up, or excuse me, yeah, upward facing dog, we're going to do our downward facing dog. So we're going to go into our downward facing dog. Medi Teddy is going to curl his toes under, lift his bottom in the air, and make an upside down V with his body. So I'm going to go back into my upward dog and then curl my toes under and then turn my body into an upside down V. Then take a big breath in and look up. And then from here, we're going to go into Warrior One. So I'm gonna step one foot forward, and then I'm gonna slowly, slowly, slowly come up, and then bring both arms next to my ears, fingers pointing towards the sky. One foot back. And then whatever we do on one side, we must do on the other. So I'm just gonna come back to mountain pose. All right. And then I'm going to step my opposite foot forward, bend my knee, Opposite foot back and bring those arms up and V. So that's our warrior one posture. Many Teddy was sitting out for that one. All right, so we are going to do a tree pose. So everybody take a look at Many Teddy. I want to do tree pose. I want to have a little bit of fun with our tree. So there's a couple ways that you can do your tree pose. If you're not sure, we'll set Medi Teddy up so he can watch us. If you're not sure um, about your balance, you could take one ankle and bring it to your heel and just balance like that. That's a nice gentle tree and then you inhale your arms up and then make big branches or you can bring them to your heart like this or you can bring them overhead, whichever tree is most comfortable for you. But if you want a little bit of a challenge, go ahead and try and bring that foot up just a little higher beneath your knee like that. And bring your hands to your heart center. All right. And then you can bring them out if you want. And then we're going to switch sides. So. Let's do it on the opposite side because we have to make sure that our body is balanced. Whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So let's go ahead and bring that other foot if you want to do, I call this a kickstand. So if you want to do the gentle version, you can do it just like this. Or you can join me and go ahead and just lift like that. Very good. Okay, and when you're ready, Let's climb out of that tree and come back down onto our mountain. And let's see what else Medi Teddy wants us to do today. All right. We can do a squat, which is kind of like, um, sometimes we call it frog posture. So if you want, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start in our mountain. 
And then we're gonna make our legs just a little bit wide, bend our knees, and then just bring those hands right in front of us. And you know what else we could do? We can hop. Just a little hop. Good. All righty, friends. All right. How about we do a little bit of a seated twist? We kind of did that at the beginning when we were pretzels. So, Manny Teddy's going to do it with me. We're gonna sit crisscross. He's gonna sit crisscross. And then you just kinda twist your body to one side. So I'm gonna twist my body to this side. And lift my chest up. And then I'm gonna twist my body to the other side. And we need to help Maddie Teddy twist to the other side too. He needs to make sure he's practicing balance on both sides of his body. So here's a fun pose, it's called Happy Baby. So let's take a look at Muddy Teddy and his book and his happy baby. And then we are going to lay Muddy Teddy on his back. He's gonna reach for his toes and he can rock from side to side if he wants to like that. So that's what I'm going to do too, I'm going to reach for my toes, and then I can just kind of rock my body from side to side, give myself a spine massage. Maybe lift my legs a little higher. And then finally, we are going to go into a butterfly pose. So that's what butterfly pose looks like. So let's help Medi Teddy get into his butterfly pose. Like this. He's going to put both his paws together, his foot paws, and he's going to bring his hand paws together in front of him. And I am going to sit behind him and do that. And I'm going to put my hand paws on my shoulders. And I can fly like a butterfly if I want to. I can even flap all my wings. Because butterflies have four parts to their wings. So let's fly like a butterfly. Good. All right, my friends. Very good. And now, Betty Teddy is going to show us how to do resting posture. So to do resting posture, you just lay down on your back. With your hands by your side legs resting on your mat. You can even close your eyes if you want to, if you're really comfortable. And we could just start to rest for a moment. So you know, bears, they hibernate in the winter time. And it's not winter, it's spring right now. So, most of the bears are just about ready to come out of hibernation. So let's for a moment, as we lay on our mats, let's just pretend that we are bears and we're still hibernating. We're just about to come out, but we're still hibernating. So go ahead and lay down on your mat like Medi Teddy. Get super comfortable. Close your eyes. And just imagine that you're inside of your cave. And your cave is nice and snug. Keeps you nice and cool um, or nice and warm depending on the temperature. And you are tired. You've had that long winter's nap and you're still resting.
I bet your tummy's really grumbling. You're probably very hungry after that long, long nap. So, picture yourself rising in your cave, walking around, going out and seeing the sunlight. And now you can see those birds. You can see those crickets. There may have been some frogs croaking near a pond somewhere. Stay out in the sunlight, go and gather some food, drink a little bit of water from that pond. So just take in all those surroundings. And when you're ready, you're ready to leave and go foraging in the forest, and go far away from that cave. I want you to go ahead and just Start to wiggle your toes. Start to wiggle your fingers. Start to flutter your eyes. And go ahead and start to sit up. Sit down, crisscross yoga sauce in easy pose. If you have a friend or family member there with you who might still be in their bear cave and isn't quite ready to come out, that's okay. Um, they can stay there for a little while longer if they would like, okay? So, now that we're back, let's just practice our breathing just one more time. So I want you to take a big deep breath through your nose and smell those spring flowers, all right? And then just blow it out. Again, smell those spring flowers. I wonder what kind of flowers you see. I really like roses and orchids, so I think I might smell a rose today. What kind of flower are you going to smell? And I said I liked orchids too, so now I think I might want to smell an orchid. Maybe you might want to smell the same flower you already smelled, or maybe a different one. Let's inhale. And blow it out. Now, friends, we're going to get ready to close our class, so if you will just bring your hands together with me, and I'll scoot up a little closer there. Okay. And let's say our closing wish together. May the whole world be filled with peace and joy, love and light, and lots of peaceful children. Namaste. Bye, friends.